Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to download programming to the Cortex in order for it to communicate with the remote control so that you can operate your robot with the joystick using the joystick or the buttons on the remote control. This is what you will need. Your robot, the wireless VexNet keys if you want it to work without the USB cable. You will need the USB cable for downloading the programming from the computer to the robot. And then the joystick. Also not, pro not shown here is you will need a program that outlines the behaviors you would like for your robot to have whenever certain buttons or the joystick is pressed. So make sure you have your program ready. Getting started, we need to make sure that our Cortex is turned on and that our robot has been connected with the USB cable, the Cortex, uh, one end of the cable in the Cortex and the other end of the cable in the computer. So I have my code open on my computer and before I download, I need to check out my communication mode. Go to Robot come down to VEX Cortex Communication Mode and you need to make sure that VEXNet or USB is chosen. Even though you may want to operate the remote with the USB cord, you have to choose VEXNet or USB. That's what lets the robot know that you're working with a remote, with a, uh, that you're not planning to use just code only as we did in the previous challenge. So let's make sure we have changed this setting. You may need to pause the video right now and do this just to make sure that it's done. And then once we have the correct mode chosen, it may ask us to power cycle. So you may have to turn everything off and unplug it and then power it back up so that you can compile and download your program. So at this point, I've got the correct mode chosen. I'm going to compile the program and I'm going to download it to my robot. Once my program is on the robot, then I'm ready to connect my Cortex and my remote. Before I do that, I need to turn my Cortex off, and then I'm going to unplug, with the Cortex off, I'm going to unplug the USB cable from the computer, and I am going to plug it into the bottom of my remote control. Then, and before I turn everything on, we need to do this in a particular order. The remote control does not store any programming. It is receiving its orders from the Cortex. It sends directions to the remote on what to do. So I'm going to make sure that I turn my remote control on first, and then I'm going to turn my Cortex on. So we want to definitely do it in that order. It will make your pairing easier. So at this point, my program is on my Cortex, and I have my joystick connected to my Cortex. And so I should be able to push some buttons. There will be lights. There will be a green light on game and a green light on robot up here on the Cortex. There will be a green light on robot and a green light on joystick and a green light on game. The VexNet lights should not be lit up right now because we're not using the VexNet wireless keys. So I should be able to push these buttons and move the joysticks and my robot should react if I have programmed it correctly. So next, if I want to try to make it wireless, then I'm going to have to add the 9 volt backup battery to support my wireless signal. So you need to find this little holder, this plastic holder, and you should have a 9 volt battery. You're going to plug it into this wire lead and it gets connected into your cortex right here at the back. Once I have my backup battery installed, then I'm ready to turn off my remote and turn off my cortex. I'm going to remove the USB cable from both devices and then I can take my VexNet keys, which yours are white, this is an old picture so these are black, yours should be white and gray, and I'm going to plug one into the bottom of the joystick and I'm going to plug the other into the cortex. And again, when I turn these back on, I need to turn on my remote first and then turn on my cortex so that my remote is waiting for the signal from the cortex. 
it does take a little more time when you're doing them wireless to send the to make the wireless connection to, for the keys to identify each other and send the information so you want to be patient and give it oh about five seconds or so and then you should start seeing the joystick robot vexnet and game lights all four lights should turn green and over here on your cortex all three lights should turn green when they're communicating once that happens you should be able to push the buttons or push on the joysticks and your robot will react based on what, how you have programmed it. So I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, video. I hope you've been able to pair your robot with the joystick and um, have a happy time driving. <laughs>